us have been interested in foraging as a topic uh, since the beginning of the discipline, so over 100 years, it's been a, an important topic. Um, to date, there are very few, if any, studies that I'm aware of that look at foraging as a practice in an urban, post-industrial, post-modern context. My name is Melissa Poe, and I'm an environmental anthropologist. I work with the Institute for Culture and Ecology. One of the goals of our project is to synthesize the information that we are learning about people's gathering practices in the city um, and um, provide some of that info to decision makers who, who are thinking about um, managing public lands in urban areas um, so that they will have a better understanding about um, gatherers' values and ways in which public policy might be shaped to address those values. And our project might fill the gap I got interested in foraging as a way to learn about plants. It was actually less about the eating of them and more about, like, it was a way to sort of learn what things are. Um, I don't have any history with nature itself. Like, I'm just not familiar with things. And so as I was starting to get interested in um, learning to identify plants, learning a use for it seemed to help it stick in my brain better than just learning how it looked. Like, if I see... Um, Siberian miner's lettuce. I'm like, I know what that is. I know I can eat it. And so it's totally given me a different relationship with nature. It's definitely made me feel like a connection and almost like it's a community that I can be a part of. That's a weed. That's a flower. That's grass. That's a tree. You know, that's how we all start. And I'm not content merely to know the names. I want to know what's it good for. That's a very human-centric uh, sentiment. I, I don't necessarily care what's useful to a goat or a gorilla. I care what's useful to a human, and unapologetically. And so I, I don't know that I'll ever um, be, you know, a major forager or get like a large percentage of my food from it. And nor do I think that other people like need to strive towards that. But again, I think just being aware of it makes it makes your day more interesting. Or how is it we've lost it and how do we regain that? 